Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, February 4th, 2016, and it is kind of like a Friday because you don't have school tomorrow. I'll be here, but you guys don't have to be here tomorrow. All right, so here are your announcements. Announcement number one, book orders. Book orders are out. If you're interested, get some books. I'll send out a new board, book order um, next week. Uh, they, those are due in a couple weeks. If you want them, get them. If not, don't worry about it. Second announcement, book it forward. That is right. It is the book it forward book drive. Bring in books. If you bring in 10 books, you get a soda. 20 books, you get an extra game. Anything beyond that, and we'll negotiate. Okay? Maybe you, you bring in 50 books and you're like, Mr. Stock, I would really like to sit in that comfy chair for, for the next two weeks. Okay, cool. So anything beyond 20 books and we'll, we'll, we'll work something out. All right? Uh, maybe you want to get an extra soda or something like that. Okay? Um, so bring in books. Lots and lots of books. Because it's not just about bringing in books because you want those things. It's about bringing in books because you know that giving a book to someone else just makes their life better. Okay, If you had a book that you loved when you were a little kid but you're, you've grown out of it, help give another little kid that same experience and love that book too. Okay, That is one of the biggest reasons why I'm an English teacher is because I love sharing books with you. I love telling you, oh my gosh, you've got to check out The Looking Glass Wars because it's got the Mad Hatter and he's like a ninja assassin. It's so cool. Or, oh my gosh, uh, The Fault in Our Stars. It just made me cry. <laughs> Tear up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I love sharing books with you. You should also take that opportunity to share a book with someone else. Okay. Uh, last announcement. You do have Weekly Writing 5 due on Monday. Okay. Well, most of you, are, I think, are already done with it. It's, it's where you have to write about, describe a robot describe the best sandwich ever, or describe a strategy guide to survive life. You need at least uh, to underline at least three interesting adjectives or describing words in your weekly writing. And then you also need to include at least one simile or metaphor. And at the end, you need to put parentheses, those are the things that look like this, okay? And put simile or parentheses metaphor. That way I know that that right there is a simile or a metaphor. Okay? Uh, make it interesting. I, I've, I've seen some of your writing. I've been looking over your shoulder a little bit while you've been working. and They're pretty hilarious. Just make sure you keep it descriptive writing and not a story. All right. Today we are going to kick off our um, Freedom Walkers book. Chapter 1 is due on Monday, but you're going to have most of the class to read it. We'll read the introduction together, go over some vocabulary, you'll have some time to get started, and you need to work on that dialectical journal sheet I gave you yesterday. All right, just chapter one, that's it. You got three days to do it, get chapter one, weekly writing five, finished. Um, but most of it should probably be done in class. That's all I got for today. Just remember that I think you guys are awesome. I may, you know, get on to you about talking or, I may, I may talk to you, pull you out in the hall for some goofy or squirrely behavior. That's just because I want to help you improve and leave my classroom a better person than you came in. Okay? But I think you're pretty great to begin with. And I think I am so impressed with the improvements you guys have made since the beginning of the year and where you're at now. So continue that trend. Continue that momentum. Continue being the rock stars that I know that you are. All right. That's all I got for today. Um, until next time, book it forward and be awesome.